Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to say a special thank you to Shaina, because when I spoke to her about uh, working for me, you know, um, I told her, Shaina, I need to uh, raise a voice against women abused through the collection. And she instantly said, yes, I will be there. And she has driven all the way from Nagpur this morning Nasik. just to Nasik to be here. The... And uh, a special thank you to her and the ladies who worked, Rubel Nagi, Vibha Bakshi, uh, who is the uh, documentary maker of uh, Daughters of Mother India. Rubel Nagi is an artist. Um, and Radha Kapoor, who owns Yes Bank. And uh, Pooja Makhija, the eminent dietitian, and nutritionist. And of course, uh, my special Shaina, who has been here for me. So thank you so much. Can I really like to say a few words? Yeah, this is the first time a designer is working for another designer. <laughs> and in my case, I think this is the first time ever. But it's because uh, when Nita told me that she wants to raise a voice against any kind of abuse to women, I think that uh, fashion can also be meaningful rather than being glamour, without a purpose, or as they say, meaningless. So I think that hats off to you, Nita. And trust me, this is a one-off. And this is just about the only one where you will have ever a fashion designer politician walking for you. But it's the cause more than (laughs) anything else. And I think all the women have contributed in a way. But now it's important that since you've talked about raising a voice against any kind of abuse to women, we need to have an absolute concrete game plan as to what each of these women will be doing. And I'd be happy to help you with that. Yeah. What are you wearing? Why are you wearing this particular Well, you know, I was in uh, Nasik for a BJP state executive, and I didn't even know what I was wearing. I came here at 2.30, and I saw this black sari. And, and I no fittings. It. And no fittings. No, nothing. But it's beautiful. It's a stunning sari with a dupatta drape. What so, uh, actually, I was a little worried because I saw... A lot of beautiful <coughs> people in the audience as well. And of course, lots of people from uh, varied walks of life. And they normally look at any, you know, there are stereotypical notions that this person is from the glamour industry, this person is from here, this person should be how. So actually, you should have taken a photograph of what I arrived in, in a cotton sari and what I'm looking at now. So that in itself is a story, but uh, no fear. A lot of jumpsuits, a lot of uh, tulum tops, um, skirts, uh, loosely flowing jackets, long jackets to be teamed with skirts, shorts, uh, t-shirts, and uh, trousers, denim jeans, and uh, yeah, nice shoes, veg heel shoes, apart from the rest because I believe that comfort of walk is most important other than the wearability of garments. Um, I've used the colors of the dried flowers. In fact, if you see Shaina's um, outfit, it's got an embroidery which is made out of burnt flowers, sequin flowers. And there's a lot of treatment that has been done to all the clothes where a lot of burning of fabric was used, a lot of um, cut work was used, and still it got the glitz and the glamour. And a lot of dried flowers colors were used. And still it came out so glamorous and beautiful. So um, that was um, uh, essentially a collection which is more cocktail wear. And uh, the rest of the colors that I think today um, are going to be uh, very prominent are uh, pastel tones for sure. A lot of tangerines, um, like your papaya colors, and uh, of course my ever (coughs) ever favorite, the pink glow, Um, orchid and uh, colors from uh, birds like uh, the one of the colors that i've used is a color which is of the pigeon so we um, in our office as well we just say pigeon you know so i mean um, these are the kind of colors i i believe which i showcase today which are going to be really popular apart from your whites and ivories um i've used a lot of crepes very different kind of crepes. I've used tulle. I've used uh, a lot of uh, um, silks, soft silks. And uh, uh, predominantly, those are the fabrics that have been used in the collection so that there's not too much of a lining to it. 
and it's very easy to move. If you saw the fabrics, were had its own movement, and uh, it was very specifically selected so that it had that move ability to it, which I think is very essential in uh, in summer because. Uh, we live in a tropical country and it's not important that we'll just wear cottons when we go out. We need to wear a fabric that um, feels good when you wear it. And I think uh, the particular crepe that I've used um, has its kind of uh, girth, it has a handle, uh, a kind of a softness, and yet looks glamorous and is cool to wear in the summer. Lisa, hi, Karmic from iCarpet.com. Hi. Um, could you tell us the reason why you chose uh, I would love to okay. hear the reaction of the colors as well. Okay. Um, was talking about the story of the woman uh, in her entire bloom. And uh, this is one of the colors that I've used and one of the prints I've used in the collection, if you see. And it is part of my collection. Um, and um, because of the story that she was saying in the form that she was saying, which was very strong, I used pink for her with a very soft undertone to it, which was the pigeon. And as far as China's garment is concerned, all the garments were in colors of the dried flowers of the cherry blossom and the osmanthus that culminated into um, the dark color or the black. And um, in all the garments, I have undertones of all the dried flowers. So essentially, uh, it is the blooming flower and the dried flower which has its inert strength. And um, the philosophy behind it was that um, flowers bloom and grow when you nurture them, but then when you don't nurture them, they wither and fall. But still, when you use them, you use them for popura and everything. It's, it's the strength and the fragrance that comes out, and that is essentially what women are, and we should stop women abuse.